guess is that these are illustrating trades of the day in that day. A building across the street just with somewhat pretty graphics. And at the top of this building, a cartoonish, simple set of graphics, somewhat reminiscent of the drawings on the sides of doors in India. And then dropping down over to another building, something fairly dramatic to embellish the corner of your building with. Imagine if a time machine could propel us back five, six hundred years ago on this square and that we could actually empathize somehow virtu by virtual reality with how these people lived and felt in that place they knew so well. North. Kirschenplatz is a relatively small square but very pretty murals on the front of those buildings. This one with some interesting design detail up on top. And over on this side, an extravagance of, I'm guessing that's a folder for signs, although it isn't holding it. So that's impressive. And it's a very nice little statue there. Beautiful little piece of work it seems like. Particularly with the water spilling out of those geese's mouths. A simple graphic, can't quite make out what it is. Now we'll move over to the really flashy whatever that's for. You notice that its building also has its share of graphics, as does the building a couple doors down. Interesting how they just put singular figures. The building I noticed off to the side that was pretty. Looks like it's a house. Isn't that lovely? And then above it is our clock tower. A chunk of street running parallel and uphill from the street that I'm currently navigating down, but it gives again a hint of the past. Just walk down that street to Falcon Flocks, which seems to be the epitome of uninteresting and modern construction. Although walking down further, we at least get a sense of the narrowness of these streets in the day, but maybe not anything more interesting. We'll go down anyway just to stay in form for my plan. Not to be missed. Expression perhaps of tourists or locals. Oh, kids, <laughs> look at how he holds that cat. <laughs> funny. I went in and asked the man who's running this glass door uh, why the statue, and then, of course, then, being incredibly fast, I realized everybody in the statue is wearing glasses. <clears throat> Everything's wearing. But he said it's also a landmark, so if you want to describe where to meet somebody or whatever, you refer to the statue as a reference point. Of course, there are several McDonald's all over the place, and some Burger Kings. Visible between two buildings on the street I'm walking on, looking uphill, is uh, there's certainly a support walls for the hill itself and anything built on it, but also an interesting uh, bit of graphics on this building and behind it one of those towers. Which one? I don't know. Another female sculpture. A young girl practicing her ballet. Most a powerful leg.
I felt in plots I found it so un uninteresting that I totally missed this falcon ear. Look at the shoes and his purse or whatever he uses, perhaps something that he uses with the falcon. This is the Reformed Church that you see from the other side of the river that we were on yesterday mostly. What these balloons are for is anybody's guess. We're now inside that Church of Reformation. Notice the balloons behind in the incredibly simple altar. And notice just as counterpoint to my earlier comments, how that pulpit is designed to be quite simple, suffering only a bit of detail in the lower portion, which in itself is quite modest. Simple stained glass. The lighting and the ceiling all look new. Notice the chairs are simple. How new this whole building is, is an interesting question. And notice as I sweep about, there are no chapels. No X number of positions of the cross. Self-glorifying chairs for the priests. A unicorn at his drinking fountain. <laughs> I wonder if these building owners install these or whether these are civic. Looks like an older building down a side street. What's interesting is notice the <coughs> curved cutout right behind those folks to the left that is used to provide access for trucks, vehicles, and so forth when the footprint of the building would otherwise overrun the intersection. Now working my way back parallel to the street we were on before, I don't know the name of this square. It has that very impressive building to the left. All of this looks somewhat old. It's interesting how they achieve architectural detail by literally painting it on in one color. And this is the church and its tower that stands beside the water's edge on the opposite side from where we were walking yesterday. In fact, to the right, you can see through all the way to the other side of the river. This tower looks like it has at least five clocks, maybe six, but that big one is replicated either on the right facing side or on the far left facing side. And there are four up at the top. 